I'm goofing around a lot tonight, and I'm acting like an ass, because why should tonight be any different? But I probably shouldn't be, because these are serious times. The world, the United Nations, even the United States, everyone seems divided on whether America should invade Iraq or not. And everybody has their own ideas. I don't care who they are. Everyone has their own idea of what we should do and is ready to give their opinion. Well, folks, it turns out our staff here at Late Night, they're no different. I was talking to them today. They've all got their own opinions on how to deal with Saddam Hussein. So tonight is what we're going to do. We're going to share my staff's ideas with you in a little piece we're calling Late Night Staffers Solve the Crisis in Iraq. <laughs> Now, first up, the people in our hair and makeup department, they think the simplest solution to this crisis would be if Saddam went into exile, just got out of the country. And they came up with some new hair and mustache styles to help Saddam stay incognito if he were to go into hiding. For example, there's the mullet right here, which might work. It's a good style for Saddam. That's good. That's Saddam in the David Spade classic Joe Dirt. Uh, there's the afro right here look, which might work for him. And of course, cornrows with Raleigh Fingers mustache. Could be a sexy look. It's a good idea. Now, as I said, everybody has their own opinion on what to do. Jimmy Vivino, our fine band leader tonight, I understand you have a solution to the Iraqi crisis. Yeah, I think I do. First of all, I think we should... And then after that, we should... And finally, I think uh, when we're done with that, we should try a little bit of... would work. Jimmy Page. Israel would never put up yeah. with the last one. All right. Now, some of the guys on the staff uh, get together on the weekends to play in a pickup basketball league, just like a lot of staffs of any job around town. And they have an idea I think could work. Let's hear about it. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me get this straight. You guys have challenged the five ambassadors of the UN Security Council to a basketball game. Is that right? Uh, that's right, Conan. That's right. <laughs> and the bet is, if we win, the Security Council has to pass a resolution condoning an attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, guys, what happens if you lose? <laughs> about that, Conan, but uh, if we lose, then uh, we'll run through the studio naked. Okay, well, good luck, you guys. It sounds right. good. Okay, terrific. Good luck with it. This is great. Yeah, that's, uh, that's exciting. That's terrific. Okay, folks, next we have uh, someone who... <laughs> we got our asses kicked! <laughs> Our next staff member... Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mahatma Gandhi. Wow. Yes, yes, Conan. I have returned to Earth to offer a peaceful solution to the crisis in Iraq. The first step is to initiate a dialogue between... Uh, yeah, Gandhi, uh, this is really just for staff members only. I thought you were seeking solutions to the problems with Iraq. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are from our staff members, okay? It is true that I do not work here at your show. However, I think that... Hey, uh, Earth to Gandhi, okay? No one wants you here, all right? Beat it. Get out of here. Take a hike, Gandhi. What a jerk. Pushy ass. Our next staff member is one of the crew guys, Danny Riley. Danny, what do you think we should do? Well, Conan, all the Middle Easterners love egg rolls, so I say we send over a bag of exploding egg rolls. Okay, Danny, I think egg rolls are more associated with Chinese people. Really? Well, I didn't know I was working for a bigot. <laughs> all right, folks, now it's... Now it's my turn to offer an idea. I think we can avoid war and quickly solve our problems with Iraq by turning to someone very special for help. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Superman. Yeah. 
Hello, Conan. I'm here to save the day in Iraq. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, Superman. Forgive me for being blunt, but what happened to your hair? Well, I lost it, Conan. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just gone, you know? It's just in my genes. Both grandfathers. Nothing you can do about it, really. Anyway, I'm ready to fly to Iraq. Oh, okay. Iraq. Okay, what's, what's your going to do? I will use my x-ray vision to find... I'm sorry, did you even try, like, uh, Rogaine or Propecia? Because I have a lot of... Cri did you try anything? Conan, really? Who cares about that? I have superpowers. I'm Superman. I can save the world. You know what you could do? You could get one of those costumes like Batman that has a covering over the head so no one would actually know if you were bald or not. What is this crap? You said staff members only. No, Superman works here. Isn't that right, Superman? What? Uh, yes, I'm on the staff. Oh, yeah, right. What do you do here? I'm an editor. Oh, and what's with your hair? Superman is bald now? You want to talk Chrome Dome? What did you call... Yeah, that's our take on the big crisis. Uh, it may be clear that no one on our staff is able to solve the Iraqi crisis, but there is something they can do, and that is successfully predict who would win if there was a war. Here's how it works. Wayne Smith and Lou Belcher are the two guys in charge of stocking our drink room. How's it going, guys? Yeah, it's great, Conan. Great. And you guys are having a race tonight to see who would win the war, is that right? Yeah, that's right, Conan. I'm representing USA. And I'm representing Iraq. Yeah. Iraq, Iraq, no, Iraq. No. And what's gonna happen is we're running down the hallway and into the studio, and whoever gets there first, that's the country that's gonna win the war. Well, that sounds great. This will solve it. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Darn right. All right. On your mark, get set. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right. Uganda. 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 Well, Uganda wins. That's just how it goes. I didn't see that coming. And finally, no matter what happens in Iraq, we just learned there's already an NBC made-for-TV movie in the works, and we have a hold of the cast list. We got a hold of this thing. You want to know the cast list? This is great. I thought we'd share it with you. For example, the role of White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer will be played by Jason Alexander. This is good. <laughs> the role of Saddam Hussein will be played by John Oates, and I think he'll do a great job. He's, all he needs is a beret. He's got the same tood. President Bush, of course, will be played by Pauly Shore, because they seem to have... <laughs> Colin Powell will be played by Coolio. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> British Prime Minister Tony Blair will be played by Roberto Benigni. I think that's going to be good. All ready to go. Donald Rumsfeld will be played by Janet Reno. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you, judgmental audience. And the weapons of mass destruction will be played by InSync. They'll be there to do their part. And finally, Barbara Bush will be played, that's right, by Keith Richards. And I think there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of good going on there. All right, we'll take a look back when we come back. Adrian Brody's here. He's nominated.